Hello there, on today's video we're going to see how to use the AI tool in Adobe Illustrator, it is called Text to Graphic tool, to create a vector landscape graphic. Then we're going to use the 3D function to give some depth and make it look a bit of 3D. I have opened a new document, the size of the artboard doesn't really matter, and then I'm going to select the Text to Graphic tool. If you can't see it on the workspace, you can find it on the window tab on the top menu. Then you can select the type of the graphic you'd like to create. You can choose between subject, scene, icon or pattern. Then you need to write a short description about what you'd like the graphic to be. The tool will generate some options and you can choose the one you'd like most. I'm going to use a version I created earlier using the same text, which you can see below. The graphic is fully editable, which means that you can do as many changes as you like. This is what I'm going to do now. I will make some adjustments on the shapes, change some colors and remove the gradients, because the gradients will not work uh, later on the 3D part. I will remove some objects which are not necessary to make the objects simpler in order to have a lighter document and in general I will try to improve the graphic as much as I can. Maybe it would be better to add some clouds too which can be generated by the eye tool as well. So I'm going to write a new description for some simple clouds. Now that I'm happy with the graphic, I'm going to give it some 3D depth. I will do that by going to the 3D and material window. If you can't see it on the workspace, it will be available on the window tab on the top menu. So an important thing I need to do is to add all the objects in the same group. Then on the 3D and materials tab, I will choose the inflate option. This will take some time depending on the power of your computer. Now we also need to click the render button to make the result more realistic. Again this will need some time to complete. The 3D and materials tab has many settings, but now I'm going to change only the angle of the lighting. And that was it. If you have any questions, as always, you can ask me on the comment section below. Till next time, like, share and subscribe. Bye.